game one of this playoff showdown. Let's put the hype aside and find out who's the better team. Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. Covers up and will get a face off. Change is coming up on the back end as they send the puck in. Takes the puck along the boards. Nice save by the goaltender to get a pad on that. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Quick pass across to Durgachov. Korshkov's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. Sokolov's called for tripping. He's off to the box. And their first chance to use the man advantage. With a scoreless game, James, an opportunity to go up by one. They'll want to gain possession right off the draw and set the tempo. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Answered the call on that play. Moves the puck. Oh, he didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. And that's one way to help kill off this penalty as they get the puck out, Cheryl. Now, when you're on the PK unit, you have to be able to anticipate. They do just that. They're able to retrieve the puck and fire it down the ice. Makes no mistake on the clear, James. Hard and heavy on the stick. goaltender and you take that energy and you head to the dressing room for intermission you get some much needed rest and you gotta come out flying in the second and that'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of action here tonight we've got lots more still to come second period is just around the corner under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? These the camps playing with an attack mentality, James. Every time they're in the offensive zone, they're looking to take it to the net. You put bucks on net, you're going to score goals. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Nissen camps up one zip. Kavaros has won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Good heads up. Trying to gain a step. Official signaling a penalty. Not a great penalty to take. I mean, you're down a goal. You're trying to fight to get back in this game, and now you find yourself shorthanded. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well. See how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. And they manage to clear it. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Here's a chance. Scores! And 
And just like that, we are tied. A huge goal. I absolutely, oh, I absolutely love this PK unit. Not just sitting back and allowing the power play to take it to them. They're saying, nah, -uh, not on this shift. And they just drive and attack, and they wind up getting that shorthanded goal. What an unbelievable play. Durgenshov set the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Gretzky's quick stick lands on the puck here at center. Quick feed to Durgenshov. The Nationals looking against the half wall. Here's a shot! Here's a shot! Oh, what a club save! Wow! Handles the puck at the point. Oh, and the stick falls on the play. Uh, and that's a tough one, James, when you're in a prime scoring area and you have to get back to the bench as quick as possible. So you go from... And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift, and you can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. Oh, he burns the goaltender on that one. Picks up the rebound and buries it home. Goalie looks frustrated now. James knows that you got to redirect that puck to a safe spot. Kabarovsk's push here in the second is paying off as they now lead by one. Well, you can certainly see the energy shift in the bench and the coaching staff talking to the team about continuing to push. Keep the pedal to the metal here. While you have your opponent down, you got to attack. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Nice feed from the right wing. Kabarovsk's got the puck along the wall. Here's a chance. Oh, scores! What an opportunity and delivers. Well, this is an unlucky bounce. As a defender, you're in the middle of the ice trying to clear out any kind of traffic, and the puck just hits you, deflects, and goes into your own net. That's a tough one to take. Kabarovsk's extended the lead to two here in the second. And I think they need to continue to play desperate. Don't sit back. There's a lot of runway left. Continue to take control of the game. Dees won the draw. Into the attacking end. Slides the puck over. Slides, come on. From the point, they take control. Oh, stick save and a butte. Picks up the puck. Oh, and he had the answer on that one. Let's get the call. You can play aggressive, but you got to walk the edge. This is an undisciplined penalty, and it's going to be a two-minute minor. The Nationals send their men advantage unit out once more. An opportunity on the power play to right the wrong, giving up that shorty earlier. A real trendsetter here, the ability to get back on your toes and put one by. Trying to get it out of their own end. Goaltenders out to play the puck. Tries to the crease. How did he stop that one? When that shot came quick and it was right out front, he had to be sharp. He had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Plays dictate games, and this one did not. And the coach will not be happy with the setup or the opportunity that this unit gave them. Mosa to Kapusta. That knocks him off the puck. Takes the feed. Takes the shot. Big stop just as time expires in the period. And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. Time to drop the puck here in period number three. And the puck is dropped, and we are underway here in the third. Nissen Kent's got the puck. A little... Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. And he's going to slow things down. Opportunity presented for his team and everyone giving a standing ovation. Kabarovsk's got the 
puck. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. on the boards by Lee. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Another stick infraction, and you know that coaches don't like this one. A product of not being in good position, reaching, and then taking the trip because you weren't moving your feet. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Kavaroff's won the draw. Too many bodies in the way. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. to make sure they stay to business, stay to task, stay focused. And that's exactly what they've done, and they just hammered their opponent. Kavarov's got a lead in this game, predominantly because of that second line and the offensive production that they've had in this game. There's a lot of motion. They're playing well. They've got good speed, and I've been really impressed with their performance. Sends a pass over. Quick pass to Broncos. And that's deflected off someone in front. Shot. Just wide. And we are all over with this one. An impressive team effort as they take the first one and draw the proverbial first blood in the series, Cheryl. Yeah, and that's exactly how they would have drawn it up, James. You want to make sure that you are the one that establishes the play and pace of the game right off the top. And you want to set the tone. Well, they did that. And now their opponent's squeezing their sticks a little tight. A fun night of playoff hockey, and these playoffs, well, they have been intense, and they have been electrifying so far, and we will see you at the next broadcast. For Cheryl, I'm James. Good night.